Hello, hello everyone. How are you doing? Hope you are taking a load off your mind today, Sunday, and taking, if it's even a moment, just for yourself. Do some journaling. Get your diary and write down the best thing that happened to you in the week that just ended and also the most disappointing thing that happened to you as well. Now, in your mind's eye, try to do all you can to have a better week coming and try your best to avoid anything that will throw you out of character and do your best to avoid any obstacles in your way. In all things, stay safe and be aware of your surroundings and also be very mindful of the people that is around you. Have a beautiful and awesome week ahead. So guys, do you remember or do you know of the Baba Roots drink? Yes, it's a Jamaican roots drink that is both energizing and stimulating to drink. Some of our Jamaican men love to drink it because they say it enhances their sexual performance. However, it's a really nice drink and it is just so smooth going down. The drink founder and entrepreneur is Mr. William Webb and is a foundation manufacturer that sponsors many events in and around his community. Events such as dance hall music and sporting events where his drink is in turn being promoted. As you know, most Jamaicans have a love for herbal root drinks as it promotes healthy living like Baba Roots does. Even in my travels, I have seen Baba Roots being sought after in the Jamaican communities as the most herbal drink from the island. So it is with a very heavy heart that I bring to you that this entrepreneur, businessman, a productive member of our society, Mr. William Webb, the owner of Baba Roots Herbal Drink, was gunned down at his home in Darlingston, Westmoreland, this Sunday morning, the 10th of December, 2023. The business people in Westmoreland have been crying out for the government to send in the security forces to help them as criminals and extortionists were driving around robbing and extorting businesses brawling. So much so that businesses had to close their doors and sell through windows and grills in fear for their lives. And by certain time, they have to lock up and get home, thinking and feeling that they will be in a safer place at their homes. Now look at this. They go to Mr. Williams' home and gun down the man. I want to know what is the government going to do about this level of crime and violence in the country. You know that this government won on the premise that we're going to lay down in our bed and sleep and leave with doors and windows open. We're still waiting to do that because right now we need to add more burglar bars to a home to lock us in when we are in much less. The criminals are just everywhere. But they are also flocking to the rural parishes where there is more isolation and they have more freedom and less chances of getting caught by the security forces. Them preying out the thing, you know, much more than even the security forces preying it. And there they have more hideaways and bush and hilly terrain that they can maneuver. The people in the community are basically left to their mercy. Deputy Superintendent of Police, 
DSP Adrian Hamilton in charge of operations in the Westmoreland Police Division confirm the death of Mr. Williams. According to police report, four gunmen invaded Mr. Williams' home through a window in his room at about 3.45 a.m. and shot him after questioning him about money then search and ransacked his home mr william was taken to the savannah lamar hospital where he was later pronounced we have lost a pioneer so where jamaica stands right now if all or most of our youths are turning into criminals who is going to care on the business of being productive? Who is going to care on traditions and legacies? A few years ago, they took out the Zion Roots man on Slipe Road. That man was an ex pioneer in his field. Now, Baba Roots man gone. Where the next pioneer is going to come from in the roots business? Is foreigners going to come in and do that? Because if the youth them is not taking the time out to learn nothing but how to drink special, that only make them weak like a bat and they don't have no specific plans for their lives. Them just living in the now today. No productivity, just ready eye, bad mind and want what they say people have. These youths today, them just want to get up today and get rich today no sacrifices no plan in working towards something jaja as so as jamaican we're going to live traumatized just so agalang so sometimes i wonder if this whole anarchy is something that is orchestrated to keep the country fear gripped and paranoid worse with election coming up to push a certain agenda or narrative. No sir, me don't even want to go the theories way. Right now. SOEs went into place on Friday in Westmoreland and other areas. Do we really think that alone will help? Remember those areas are rural parishes. They may ease off some of the criminals in the town area a bit. Because if them determined still for go for something, them still gonna go for it. What instead these criminals will do, they will take advantage of the areas that are more lonely, where the people are living. And you don't know already, most rural parishes, the houses, them not each on and each other. And that was what people really loved about it. You're going to have to put soldiers creeping down through them hills and bushes in the pathways and byways that the people are living. It's a shame, but we want to stop the criminals in their tracks. Because remember, you know, many of these criminals already make homes in these areas, you know. So they know the surroundings well. They will just creep out when they're ready to go to them criminal activities as they have their women that do the spot out and tell them what is going on and who to rob next. The authorities need to stop underestimating what exactly is going on and how these crimes are being done. They are going to have to come up with strategies in every lane and corner house and nook and cranny either them organize some kind of loud alarm and all the houses them in the area or some kind of whistle that can alert the soldiers who should not be too far away in so doing they will be able to know who is being robbed or who is being taken out or who is being attacked it won't stop everything you know but is some kind of connection to alert the soldiers in the area or police to where something is happening because in them bushes there 
You could have ball for blue murder. Nobody ain't hearing you. Trust and believe that. So they have to come up with something that makes sound probably very sharply that can echo probably in the next parish. So they, the soldiers or police, can have a directive as to say, oh, it's coming from that end. And by surrounding that area, who to tell they could catch the perpetrators trying to leave. Listen, man, I'm not the brightest bulb. I'm just trying to think out loud how best, as a people, in the rural areas, they can try to somehow save themselves, their neighbors, families, and friends. Remember, you know, we're already voting people. That said, they can do the job, you know, to help solve crime, you know. What strategies are they putting into place to help the situation with the crime that is going on right now? Using the SOEs will mostly only affect people who are driving. Them let you come out of your car, ask your name and whatnot, and so on, dig down your vehicle if you have any weapons, etc. Criminals ain't traveling through vehicles when them don't know SOEs out there. Them smarter than that. Stop underestimating the thinking of these youths. They are criminals and them young. Them think way ahead of the older heads who think they know anything. You have to get into the minds of this younger generation and how them pre things. Because remember, in the rural parishes, Criminals creep through bushes and, and use back road, same way, and still go commit them crime. Losing Mr. William Webb is another great loss to Jamaica, as he helped to put Jamaica on the world map. As Jamaicans, whether in the diaspora or on the island, it's time to come together with ideas. And we need to bombard these people that were put in charge of the country to take a grip on crime. Because if them take away all the productive people in the country and all these people that are providing jobs for our community, what's going to be happening is a revolving door where everybody going to turn criminal now to survive. Because who is there to provide jobs? Right then and there, not going to happen. We all are going to end up turned slave because a bad set of people going to come in, come take over the country. Because come in like that's the way we want to head. And guess what happened? We are all going under shackles and go back to slavery since that is what we want for our country. Because trust and believe, they will keep the crimes and the criminals under control. And those who can't stay under control, they will know exactly what to do with them. Anyway guys, please comment in the comment section your thoughts and what you think really need to be done that can help solve crime. How communities can organize themselves to stay safe and do you think that the SOEs are enough in the parishes to keep the criminals at bay? Anyway guys. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe to my platform, please. Love you all. Bye for now.